Oh, not again. Check it out, guys. We got the Cheetah Extreme, which is dirt cheap and stupidly fast. Well, it's cheap compared to all these anyway. Subscribe. Check it out, guys. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Tyres have plenty of suppleness. Then we got a wheelie bar. So we got a hybrid double deck chassis. We got a metal top deck here. We got a plastic main chassis. But then we got another metal chassis underneath. And they're the only RC car that I've had with a metal chassis where the chassis has not bent. So we got double wishbone suspension front and rear. Aluminium coilover shocks all round. Metal drive shafts. Brushless motor and ESC that can take 4S lipos. What that means, it's going to be insanely fast. So on the box, there's a whole load more techno babble but i'm not going to bore you with all that so i'm just going to put a link down below we can get all the techno babble from and also where you can get the car from so it comes with a decent free cell lipo so we're going to run it on that first and to charge it up you plug that into there and that into there and yet guys don't charge near anything flammable so the included charger can charge at one amp it's probably going to take about three or four hours to charge it but luckily Gen Zays have just sent me this charger here they can do it in about an hour so we're going to wait for it to finish charging and then we're going to take it all out for a rip. And if you want to know more about this charger and where you can get it from, link down below. Oh, check this out, guys. It comes with a Dumbo radio. And these are actually the best cheap radio that I know of. It's actually my go-to radio that I use for most of my RC cars. So one weak spot on this car is the knuckles and the steering rack. I've actually broken them before on my old Cheetah, but if you just chuck a little bit of hot glue on there, it makes it almost unbreakable. Yes, I know, not the neatest of jobs, but practicality over visuals. And check this out, you can get all the parts in aluminium, even though I would stay away from the aluminium arms, because that's just going to rip up a load of other things. Also on Banggood, look, you can get all the spare parts. So whenever you buy yourself an RC car, you're going to break them at some point, and you want to make sure that you can get all the parts. All right, we're all charged up. Let's see what it's all about. So steering, plenty of power. Maybe not the fastest, but it will do. And power. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that's on 3S! You wait till we do it on 4S! And if you don't know what S's are, so 3S is 11.1 volts, 4S 14.8. And that means more power! All right, let's stick it into slow motion and you guys can count how many backflips we can do off that wall. I'm gonna go for three. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Uh-oh, have we broken it? Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. What happened? I'm not really sure what happened, guys. We have to take it apart and have a little look. Hmm. The problem's as hard as if somewhere. You just missed out on that one, kid. It's definitely nearly fell off his seat. What, what are you um, moaning about this? I'm moaning about if this has oil in it. What, well, you reckon it ain't? Nah. Look. Go open, have a look. I reckon it has, but really thin. I don't really want to blemish the, the casing cable with a bloody mole grip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can if you want me to. No, no. <laughs> right, do you reckon there is? I reckon there's something in there, oh, but I reckon it's, it's going to be real, right, real thin. Nothing. Oh, there is. We're going to fix it. We're going to then run it on 4S. We're going to do some speed runs. We're going to bash it, see what beating it can take. But that's going to be in a future video. So make sure you subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it. Oh.